Go. Okay, this is snowball problem number three. Okay, the first two I did, I filmed already. So I'll put this up later. Jordan's throwing snowball straight up and it comes straight down. And the first thing we need to do is look for the time. Okay. What do we know from that first situation? VI is 30. Now, before we said VI was zero, is it actually 30 now? Good, because we're throwing up and not sideways, right? So our VI vertically is actually 30. Okay, what else do we know? Linus. Acceleration. Good. I've put negative Y. Yeah, this is going down. This is positive going up. What else do we know? Okay. If I drop this book, don't worry about them. They're going to be so cute. If I drop this book, Right now, what's its velocity? Zero. Zero. But is that the VF that we would have here? Yeah. No. no. Because I could drop this from an airplane. It's always going to end up zero on the ground, right? Yeah. But in physics, we don't care about that. We care about the velocity just before it hits the ground. Why do we care about that in physics? Does it make a difference how fast it hits as long as it's going to end up at zero? Yeah, it makes a lot of difference. If we have an asteroid coming towards the Earth, eventually it's going to be going zero, but it might implode our planet before it does so, right? So we care at what velocity it impacts, right? It makes a big difference. So we want the VF just before it lands. Do we know that VF? We don't know it. Do we need to know it? We don't actually need to know it to find the time. We have VI and we have A. What else do we need to know? Now this thing's going to go up, way up, and come all the way back down. In physics, do we care about the up and down? We care about the displacement. So the up and down and all that stuff, that's distance. At the end, where are we from where we started? 20. Negative 20. So our displacement, even though we went up and did all this other stuff, our displacement is just negative 20. Okay, and we're looking for time, right? Which formula would you use? Now, if you know the quadratic formula, you can use the third one because now we have a positive vi, so we're going to have two t's. We're going to have t and t squared. Mm -hmm. If you know the quadratic, go ahead and use it. If you don't know the quadratic, we actually have to go back and solve for the vf. <laughs> so we're going to do we're going to do this in two steps. We're going to solve for vf. How do I do that? No, we just need to get rid of this square. We're going to square root it. Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be a square. Yeah, it's squared plus 2 A D. I hate putting numbers in my calculator. I'm just lazy like that. So I would just put these in. Um, but I'll write them down for us now. This is 30 squared, so that's going to be 900. And about negative 20 times negative 20, so 400. So that's going to be about 500 squared of 500. And that's ugly. What is it? 25, 625. 8? Let's find out. 30 squared plus 2 times negative 9 plus 8. I got 35.9. Is that correct? What the heck do you mean? 
Oh, you did the whole, did you do the quadratic? Uh, okay. I don't, yeah, it's right here. Yeah. Okay, now, here's the key to this. Mathematically, this is actually positive or negative, right? Mario, what's the square root of nine? Three. Good. Because three times three is? Nine. What's negative three times negative three? Nine. So any square root can be positive or negative. So we're gonna say this is positive 35.9 or negative 35.9. Jordan, yes. how can we have a positive velocity and a negative velocity? Because it's going down all the time. Good. So on the way up, it's positive 36. On the way down, it's negative 36. So now if you've got this, then you uh, use the first formula. And you can just solve for the time. So you can say step three is solve for t. So if we use the first formula and we solve it for time, does that make sense if I do that? Yeah. You guys kind of get that now? Joanna, which formula is this? Good. Yeah. And I'm just subtract the VI over and then divide by A. Okay, so my VF, you're gonna do this twice, right? You're gonna put in positive 35.9, which you still have on your calculator, minus VI, which was 30, wasn't it? 30 divided by negative 9.8. You should get a positive time out of that. Shouldn't be. Is it? No. No, it can't be. Did I do it too high? Does it work? <laughs> Who's got it? Who did this? Or am I doing this on my own? Put your hand if you did this. Marabad, did you get this number? I'm so patient. Okay, go ahead. Did I do this right, or did I make a mistake? It's right. Well, I think it's right, but. Minus 30. Yeah, divide by 9.8. Well, yeah, this is gonna be, that's gonna be negative, so that's out. What if we do the negative? Minus 30 over. That will work, but I got six point seven for one. Oh. <laughs> I'm putting in negative 20 because that's the height of the cliff, but that's not where we are. Where are we? Zero. No. I said at what two times will the snowball be at 25 meters? So this has to be 25. Not negative. Sorry, I'm rushing. I forgot the situation. So this is not, we're not falling all the way back down, right? We're going up to 25 and through it, and then we're coming back down through 25. So this displacement, whether we're going up through it or down through it, this displacement is 25, not 20. So it's like, this is 25 meters. How much time does it take to get to there and then back down to there? So sorry, I got a rushy. So our displacement is not negative 20, it's 25. Okay, let's do that again. Two times negative 
So 410, so 20.2, that sounds better. So my VF is 20.2, that means, now, is this positive 20.2? Good, plus or minus, so this can be negative as well. Or <laughs> negative 20.2. So I'm going to just change these numbers here. So if you do positive, So it's a minus 30 equals about that So I got 0.995, almost exactly one second. I'm going to say 1.0 seconds. And also, five point one two. Uh, for that, you make VF equal to zero. I'll do, I'll do it right now. Hey, uh, why is there two different times? How come it's at the same place in two different times? Nene is going like this, right? So on the way up, in one second, it's going to go through 25 meters. I just picked the 25 at random. But then at 5.1 seconds, it's going to have gone all the way up and come back down. Does that make sense? Yeah. So on the way up, it's going 20.2 meters per second up. What's it going at on the way down? Minus. Good. Just minus 20.2 meters per second down. And so if you calculate those two different times, that's the time it takes to so be going through your own way up, and that's the time it takes to be coming back down. Uh, I forgot to do B, so let's do B. At the max height, what's the velocity? Zero, right? So here, we would say Bf equals zero, A is negative 9.8. Uh, I should move this over so that... Sorry, do you want to see it? Yeah. I'll just do it over here and then I'll move for the video. Um, we're looking for D and VI is 30, right? And we're looking for D. Which formula can we use? Yeah, we can just use the second formula for this. Sorry, I'm doing this fast because I know the snow is piling up. But hopefully... Uh, so we're looking for D, so if we go VF squared minus VI squared over 2A, that will be equal to D. And so the VF is going to be 0, and the VI was 30 squared, so that's 900, negative 900 over about negative 20. So that would be about 45 or something? Yeah. Is that about right? 46? And that's going to be meters. So the, the math is actually like, it's not super difficult, right? You don't, you never have to use the quadratic. It's not like crazy. You can always just do the the algebra to solve the formula, it's really more about knowing the concepts of vertical, separate the vertical from the horizontal. Which, in which realm does gravity act? Vertical. Vertical, only vertical. So it, gravity never affects horizontal velocity, right? That's key. I'm kind of pulling you, sorry, Mario. I'm, I'm kind of pulling you into two-dimensional kinematics, which we'll do next. And then you have to kind of get 
angles and things into it. But you can still kind of do two-dimensional kinematics this way, just with time and stuff. Um, that was a little bit fast, but are there any questions? Oh, you want this over here? Yeah. yeah, no problem. So I will post the me teaching the solutions of one, two, and three. And I'm sorry if that you, there will be a mistake in there when I did the wrong displacement for number three, but.